Welcome back and uh, thank you so much for staying with MTV Weekend Edition this Saturday. You're still with me, Sandra Twin of you. Now, with the government looking to reopen schools for those under the age of 18 years in January, several initiatives have come up to help the youth improve their vocational skills in different parts of the country, partly to help them raise some income, but also to help them with life skills. Now, this evening, we do speak to Mr. Katumba Segawa, who is the chairperson of the NRM Party in Masaka City, and he will be speaking to us about the projects that he has been involved in. We are just curious, a very good evening, to hear from you on when you started this project and what is it exactly? Thank you, Sandra. <coughs> like you said, you have said my name is Anima Taito. We started this program in, in July. Uh, the program, it is the initiative of the President of the Republic of Uganda and it is under the, the, the office of the President. And uh, me and uh, the coordinator of the program is called Kano Samba. After uh, closing the, the schools, uh, students and the parents were traumatized. So the president was kind enough <coughs> to, get to, to, extend, to, to extend that program to our area. We went to the, to the villages. 201 villages and mobilized the, the people, uh, both the students and the parents. Uh, what we found there is that the demand is too high. And uh, the, 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 the materials <coughs> that we are able to get from uh, His Excellency the President, we are not enough. I can give you an example. In one of the centers, when we, we sensitized them, when we mobilized them, uh, we got around 280 people, both parents and uh, students. And some of the students are, are young boys and girls, aged seven, nine, ten years. So they are very curious to, uh, to, to have the skills. But we could not, uh, uh, they, they, we could, we could not be able to accommodate them all because of the limitations. One, the teachers, the tutors were few. Two, the the, the machines, the sewing machines were few. So we we they, we, 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 we made shifts hmm, and we reduced the number. Hmm. So what we are doing now is <coughs> that we, we went back to the president. <coughs> to see how we can uh, incorporate those others. Either to increase the number of sh sewing machines and to, to benefit in other programs. Uh, right now we are giving out some other, uh, we are taking up some other programs like uh, chicken rearing for those who, are, who have the capacity because it requires some, some money. Uh, then uh, giving out uh, those who are, can do pigare um, so that we can accommodate the other number. But the, the program is good. It gave uh, the students and the parents some hope yes. that uh, with or without going back to school, mm. they can be able to earn a living. So now fortunately, we, yeah. fortunately uh, we, we, are, we have been told by the president that the schools are going to be opened in January. But I uh, can assure you that by the time they go back in January, they will have all the skills. They have the skills. Now, speak to us about how you've been able to identify who gets to be part of this, who gets to benefit from it, because a number of students have been out of yeah. school. Yeah. So I would imagine the numbers would be high, uh, big. How do you identify those that will benefit, and how do you go about the This the program is not political. Mm. It's not political. So we are using the local leaders, okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. LSU ones, the, and the area councillors, and some religious leaders, to, to, to identify, eh? because it is, it is a community-based uh, program, even the space where these students and the parents study from are given for, to, uh, to us for free. So the parents mobilize themselves, they get a, a, a hall, they get a room, 
then it becomes a classroom. Mm, okay? Very interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Uh, now, yeah. as we plan for, for the young ones to return to school, how do you intend to, f to continue with this program? Is it going to stop, or are you planning to carry it on even when they return to school, and how are you going to do that? Uh, it, 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 it cannot s uh, stop. Mm. The pressure is too much on us <laughs> to, to, to increase it, yes. I mean, to, to maintain it. Mm. What we intend to do is uh, uh, we are going to sit with the parents and the students. They are going to create time. We have already started. Either they will study over on, on, on weekends, and the parents, in, in some centers, parents come after four. They study up to around six, okay? So the program is going to continue. We are, we are only going to, to, to make some adjustments in the, in the timetable, but it has to continue. Do you feel the students and the parents have embraced the entire vocation activities during this period? Is it something that you feel moving forward they're going to love and continue to embrace? Uh, they, they, they have already shown some good sign because of the number. Hmm? They are paying only 20,000 to cater for the tutors or the teachers, uh, you may call it the t teachers, and the, the demand is highly, is very high, okay? So uh, we are going to continue with the program. We only request the president of the Republic of Uganda and uh, the minister for presidency, uh, Honorable Babalanda, to, to increase on that budget <coughs> because <coughs> The demand is too much, mm. too much, too much, too much. Now the other question is, yeah. though these that have already gotten their vocational skills, first of all, they probably learned how to make quick cash, you know, don't, do you feel at some point it's going to hinder them from returning to school? Is there a, a gap there that <coughs> you feel may there go missing? There is no, the, the, I don't think so, because uh, according to our, 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 our program, what these boys and girls to study for a certain number of months. When they get the competence that is required, we then we shall engage the DIT to give them a certificate so that we know that Katumba is now certified, okay? Then you can graduate and go and do some business mm -hmm. for yourself, okay? So uh, right now, <coughs> it cannot discourage them to go from going back to school, okay? <coughs> because they are still in the infant stage. They have not yet graduated. Could you also uh, maybe just briefly tell us uh, the age bracket that you've been targeting? The age bracket is, it, it is, uh, um, I, I, I think uh, the producer can bring back the, the, the pictures because he was once there. Yes. We have five years old. Five years old. Five years old. And when you see them uh, doing this, what eh? kind of activities uh, are these they, are five they, they, years old? They are on a sewing machine. Really? really? Five years really, old. Really? Five years. And they are the ones who are pestering the parents. Dad, I want to go. I want to go now. It is time. I want to go. That that is, that is a sign that the program is is good. Then uh, the upper limit, even the parents of 50, 60 mm. years, they come. Because for them, they knew that that, that, that uh, program used to be there long ago. Yes. Eh? In every village, we used to have uh, people so we, with uh, that type of business, okay? So it is going to be continuous. You go to school, to the formal school, you get your certificate, but at the same time, you have knowledge in your head which can sustain your are life. You, are you planning to roll out these uh, same activities to other districts? <coughs> yeah, we are, we are, we, I think we, we uh, it, already, it already started. Uh, Honorable Kasolo Haruna started it in, in Rakai. Yes. And is doing in, in Chotera. And is doing very well, okay? Uh, I think in 2018, he graduated around 10,000 people and give them uh, uh, sewing machines, okay? We are also lucky as the people of Masaka City <coughs> that he has opened up an office in Masaka City, okay? To come to, to help us. Although that office is, is under his office, hmm? that office is under Michael Finance, but because we know that he has ever done that, we are going to use that office to, 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 to help us 
mm. uh, get more expert, uh, expertise. Okay, but uh, we, we intend to, to maximize it in the urban centers. Okay, mm. in the urban centers because uh, the rural uh, part they can engage in other activities like uh, farming, yes. like uh, uh, rearing pigs and uh, and, uh, and uh, birds. But in the urban center, in the urban center, you need to to think for those young boys and girls. All right. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for joining us this evening and talking to us about the upscaling uh, projects that we've been working on. Uh, that was Mr. Katumba Sigawa, who's the chairman of the NRM party in Massacre City, speaking to us about the importance of actually helping our young people, even ourselves really, as parents, getting the vocation skills in these times of COVID-19. Moving ahead as the government plans to reopen the schools come uh, in, gen in January. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll take a short break and uh, we'll return with MTV Weekend Edition.